In mathematics, when we want to prove that something is true, we link together a bunch of statements until we arrive at the desired conclusion. But not all sentences are statements. Each sentence must satisfy two conditions to be considered a statement. First, it must make sense grammatically, and second, it must be able to be labeled as either true or false, but not both. The label assigned to the statement is called its truth value. Let's look at some examples of statements. Ottawa is the capital of Canada is an example of a statement with a truth value of true. 4 plus 5 equals 2 is an example of a statement with a truth value of false. Purple monkey dishwasher is not a statement, since it does not make sense grammatically. Notice that statements are declarative. They make an assertion. Besides the grammatical issue, there are a few other common ways that something can fail to be a statement. Commands, such as shut the front door or stop the gab, are not considered to be statements because they cannot be labeled as either definitely true or definitely false. Also, questions such as, what is that beautiful house, or where does that highway go to, are not considered to be statements for the same reason. Finally, there are some things that may seem like statements, but actually aren't because they cannot be assigned a truth value. For example, consider the following. This sentence is false. Think about it. If we think it's true, then it's false. But if we think it's false, then it's true. That's crazy bananas. In trying to decide whether or not something is a statement, there can sometimes be disagreement. In fact, there are whole branches of mathematics and philosophy devoted to sorting out the ambiguities that can arise in logic. For this course, however, we will mostly stick to statements that are clean-cut.